this in Atlanta News First is celebrating Black History Month. And this morning, a self-taught artist is accomplishing some really cool, big personal <laughs> goals. Jim Hill is a mosaic artist using his work to tell the story of slavery and racism in the United States. He's also having his first big art show at the age of 75. <laughs> so we're celebrating an accomplishment here, and Jim Hill is here with us now. That is pretty cool. That's what I was going to Your artwork is amazing, but the <laughs> fact that you're, this first big show at 75, how does that make you feel? Uh, I, feel <laughs> I feel like my heart is soaring like an eagle. I feel great, you know. This but is you ought to feel really good. You can't tell when we first showed that artwork from a distance, those are little pieces of paper that all that make these beautiful, beautiful pieces of art. And this is the paper, right? I get wow. little. I get these papers, <laughs> uh -huh. and I cut little squares, uh -huh. and then diamonds, and I put it and make it work. Okay, but it's nothing but recycled paper. Yeah, yeah. Well, Jim, we want to touch a little bit on your story, you know? The okay. fact that you have your first big art show at the age of 75 doesn't really tell the whole story, right? I mean, this right. has got to be a real sense of accomplishment for you because it, it wasn't easy to get here. No. You see, what happened basically was uh, this African woman, when I was a little boy and I was drawing pictures of civil rights and everything else, she said to me, you're making a big mistake because nobody wants that truth on their walls, okay? And I was going through some deep truths because my mother was the granddaughter of a slave, okay? And she used to clean kitchens and stuff like that. And what happened was she was set up, this particular white man mm -hmm. went in to rape her, and she took a pot and she beat the heck out of him. And in those days, that was a crime to hit a white man, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So, you know, it would have been better if she let him rape her, but we had to leave the South, right? okay? Because, and she never wanted us to get, go back to the South, okay? Mm -hmm. But the bottom line was that mama was always up to something, okay? <laughs> mama got me into a white high school. And that's when I started painting. Painting. And I loved to paint. However, what happened was they put me up for a scholarship. I didn't get the scholarship because they said I had no white people in my portfolio. But the bottom line is people paint what they live and what they see for the most part. Right. And there you were living in a community that probably didn't have very many white people you're in it, right? You're putting your world to art, right? right. And right. your story, it, you know, it's interesting because you're 75 years old. You have lived through oh, yeah. some of the hard times of the civil rights movement. Frankly, you want to paint your truth. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, Jim, that truth is really ugly, and sometimes it's real painful, and frankly, it makes people uncomfortable sometimes, doesn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, because, um, of course, because of my charisma, and I, I <laughs> hope I don't sound like I'm bragging, but I was a leader in the community, so I led the Civil Rights Organization for Young Adults in Brooklyn, and we went out to pick it against Wall Street. They took water bags and they threw it down while we were marching. Of course, I got hit by it. The New York Times wanted to do a story on it. Mm -hmm. The bottom line was that I said to myself, maybe this is not me. And my father kept on telling me, you're not Martin Luther King, okay? He said- <laughs> There are not very many who are. <laughs> he, said, he said, you're just an artist. Yeah. Just be an artist. But I tried everything. I tried modeling. You know, I was on, Let me see that. on TV modeling. <laughs> is is any mean, artist truly just an artist, though? I mean, there's such a lot of emotion and, and yes. passion that comes out in people's artwork. It's not just something that you kind of just bling together. That's what I was trying to tell my father. You know, he was determined to keep me in art, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, I became an educator, okay? And he said, son... If you're able to just educate one or two, you did a good job. Right. I said, not me. I'm going to educate the masses. But there he went again. He said, <laughs> son, you're just an artist, okay? However, when I left high school, 
we, there's nine in the family, mm -hmm. so I was on a meal ticket mission. Okay, I had to help out to bring in food. So I couldn't afford paint. So what I thought about was I, there's, in Brooklyn, there's a white section called Brooklyn Heights. Right. And in the early 60s, they were recycling. So I went there and I got old pieces of paper, posters and other things, and I said- That you could just get anywhere. Yeah. yeah. And that's how you started doing this. Right. Your artwork, these are beautiful. What message, or is there a message you want to send with your art now? Absolutely. Like this, I just wanted to show you, this is a book that I put out and I would show mm. things like this and nobody, and that's a lynching. A lynching. Yes. Nobody wanted to buy it. I would, uh, I went to the Harlem State Building with mm -hmm. Adam Clayton Powell. They had me, uh, they said, we'll let you do a show here, you know, because it was Black History Month. So I did a show mm -hmm. and I noticed that they put a blanket. The first day, everything was great. But then they put a blanket over my pictures because they said they were too harsh. Wow. Well, in today's society, that blanket is being peeled back. The curtain is being peeled back. Absolutely. Minute by minute, day by day. And we appreciate you being here to share some of what your artwork work is like and where people can see you. Right, right. Re real quickly, where's your show? Oh, it's at uh, Mason's Fine Art Gallery. Okay. Okay. Right. And uh, basically, that's... Uh, right down on a Miami circle. Mm -hmm. Well, we okay. want to just wish you congratulations. Yeah. Um, what, what an achievement and really a lifelong journey to, to reach this point where you can have your own art show. I'd say well-deserved as yes. well. Right. Thank you for being 100%. here. 100%. Born you. to be. Yeah. Yeah. Love that. Love yeah. that. Thank you so much. We're Thank going to post you. this interview on atlantanewsfirst.com as well as a lot more information about Jim's show. Mm -hmm. We have a section dedicated to Black History Month.